Hey everybody. How are we feeling today? I'm feeling good. Uh, motivated and pumped up. Uh, thank you for all the new subscribers and uh, everybody that's commenting on my videos. Thank you so much. It helps out so much. And uh, this is what I'm doing here. Is I'm, uh, I'm making um, some little oak handles for the uh, the mini axes. Um, I haven't made the heads yet, um, but this is, this is what I'm doing. I, I'm sitting here creating um, the little handles. This is what I'm doing. See, what I do is I get a piece of, I got some oak here, and then I, uh, I take my draw knife and wood rasp, and I work it down to the shape, to the rough shape, and then I, if that's thick enough, an inch thick, I get two handles out of it. I just split them, split it right down the middle, and that turns into this. I'll put the head up here, facing in that direction. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of, uh, I've never actually made any double-headed little act, but I'm gonna do. I, I'm going to do that, uh, and also have some some regular um, straight handles. Um, but that's what I'm doing, and I just wanted to get you guys up here to see. So we got this one is is done for now, um, and this one here needs some work on it uh, with the wood rasp. Let's see. I, I find it it tends to be a little bit easier on me uh, if I uh, if I do this on my knee instead of in the in that vice. Once he gets this size, uh, just it seems to make it a little easier. And uh, so, uh, Nick. Um, Bucking, I'm, as soon as I get your info, I'm sending you the, uh, the little axe and Nick Pixels, uh, for all, all your help and your support and helping me get my channel where people can see it. I'm making you one, and, uh, I, I appreciate you, brother, and, and you too, Bucking. Um, this channel grow. <laughs> has grown so much faster than I, I, I ever would have thought it would have. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, so uh, in a couple days, I got some a tree. We're going to uh, climb it and take it down. We're going to have to rope. Um, we we'll have to rope everything down. Uh, it's leaning real bad over the shed. And uh, anyway, that's that's what what I'm gonna be doing in a day or two. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys with me, and um, CP the Tool Addict. Uh, thank you, man, for all your support and commenting. And uh, hey, just as soon as we can do it, I'm ready for a live feed, man. Uh, to get on there with you guys. Uh, But I thought I would go ahead and, and just kind of show how I do the hand, do do the handles. It's pretty much the same as a, a regular axe handle. It's just smaller, a lot smaller. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my uh, the, my chaps and my hard hat. I've got my hard hat fixed where it fits right. Uh, you know it, it's hard to find the uh, the set right size for me because I'm pretty small. Got a 29 inch waist and uh, if I buy uh, one size fits all, it, it rarely fits me. So uh, I got to get my. That's why I didn't have my chaps on in the uh, video the other day because they just they're, they're they cause more of a hazard. 
then they would be keeping me safe because they're so big. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, they're going to be put on a pair of pants. That way I don't have to worry about them getting caught up or, or catching the saw. And uh, I'll start, you'll start seeing me wearing them a lot more as soon as I get that done. Um, but as far as the helmet, it's ready to go. And I really like it. Uh, like I said before, I'm, I'm not a, uh, I was never, let me start saying, uh, my father, he did a, uh, he, he's a small engine repair, he, he fixed chainsaws and lawnmowers and stuff all his life, and he, any type of equipment like that, you could imagine, he, he fixed it, and, uh, I never seen that man everywhere any chaps and I just kind of growed into doing it without um, but it's a bad habit to start without um, before you ever get started put a pair on and go because that's the way that once you get used to them it's, it's, it's just like wearing a shirt you know but trying to get used to them after not using them it's, it's hard for, for me it is it, in my opinion it is so let's see here like to take my one I've got done and let's see oh yeah yeah that's turning out nice I've got to get me a new little rasp this one's uh it's about wore out Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, this is a... I, I usually use a little hand saw to split these once I got them. Once I got the rough shape and then I split them, <coughs> I uh, I take a handsaw. I didn't have my handsaw. I can't find it at the moment. There's no telling what I did with it. Um, I was going to show you. Well, this right here. If I can get it, I'll take the jigsaw and and split them. But uh, anyway, let's get back to this. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It takes some time to make these little things. It's uh, I mean, and you, it. What takes the longest is uh, actually making the the head. Um, it's so hot right now. I was I was gonna start the forge up this evening and do it, but it's so hot. I'm on. I'm. I might. I might. Anyway, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But the best time when when I like to make these is, is when it's uh real cold outside, because you can stay you can stay uh right up next to that forge as long as you want and be warm. Right now you're just gonna be hot. And, Miserable out in front of that fire. Oh yeah, she's coming along real nice. I got three or four different little handle designs that I'm going to try out. But these are these are my favorite because I just I just like the way they look. Let's see here. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. Oh yeah.
Oh yeah, that thing's sweet. I like that. Oh yeah, these things are so nice. I, I have people all the time that see it, like they want one, and I don't mind making anybody one. It's just finding the time to to stop working and and yard cleaning and stuff to do it. It's, that's the only the only thing I have the tr most trouble with. Now we take this sander. So good. Oh yeah, yep. And they just about looked almost identical. See, that's that's what I what I'm going for is getting like ten or twelve identical. Ones like this, 10 or 12 of the straight ones, 10 or 12 of, uh, I forget what to call that. I don't, and I, anyway, I don't have any, but just these two right now, and I'm working on them, but uh, they're just so nice. I just like the way they, they, they look. And you, you can sit here all day and try to perfectly perfect one, and uh, And I mean that's what I'm doing now. I, I'm I'm nit I'm nitpicking right now. I, uh, it's it's good, but I, I just I, I want to keep I want to make it a little bit better than it is, just a little bit. Yeah. I just like this design so much. The the way it uh, it curves. The head is is totally when it goes on. I mean, it's not quite like putting on a regular axe head, but... It gives you the, uh, an optical illusion, like the head's off backwards until it goes on there and the way it fits. It's just so nice, it's nice. My, the, the first time I ever made one of these, what, what my intentions was, was for making a necklace. And, uh... And that's a little big for a necklace, but uh, I wound up going that size just because I I could use it for. I mean, look, look I mean, I, I you can hold it and you can use it. And I said, well, you know what? I I could make a bunch of those and use them for stuff, and uh. Let's see if it's any, how sharp that is. I'm sweating. Nope. Need to be sharpened. But anyway. <laughs> So, uh, the head of your axe 
if you see this, it would be this way. So you'd be chopping wood that direction. Goes in, up, back in, and then. Oh yeah, very nice. The same. The same guys. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get off here, and I uh, hope everybody's having a good day. And um, if you're not, just smile and do something nice for somebody, and you'll feel better because they'll put a smile on their face, and uh, it'll put a smile on yours. So, hey everybody, this is what we're working on. Little handles for the axes. And um, for all the people that's uh, been subscribing to me, thank you. And uh, I got more content coming. Peace out.